Yoruba Muslims are not with a very, very group. Danny Adams, Sunday Igboho, Islamic leaders, have said, Hello, my wonderful people. The lines that divide is called disunity and not people and people not working together as one entity and um, having what we call same values okay so it doesn't matter whatever religion you belong i believe that we are fighting a common enemy and what is going on currently is not a selection of who to kill whether uh a Muslim, a Christian, or whatever that case may be. What is currently happening is Fulani headsmen, criminal Fulani headsmen that invade, do not care what tribe, what religion you belong. So some person sitting somewhere and saying um, Yoruba Muslims are not with the group that wants to chase out criminal element as a matter of fact if you don't know nigerians share borders with other countries and some time ago uh Mayeti allah has said that nigeria belongs to them and as such they want to claim what belongs to them which the british took away from them when nigeria was uh, given independence in 1960 and that that made them their brothers to go so they are calling on all their brothers from all over Africa to come into Nigeria to claim back their land. That being said, we've seen the, I mean, that, that threat, so to say, becoming a reality where we see uh, uh, headsmen, I mean, to the extent of even those who are coming from foreign countries into Nigeria to cause, uh, to commit criminal activities. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Yoruba Muslims are not with a fairy fairy group. Ghani Adams, Sunday Iboho, Islamic leader, has said. Hamed Danwa Iran, the leader of an Islamic organization named Tangwo Islamic Organization located in Iwo or Shun State, said a fairy fairy Ghani Adams, Sunday Iboho, are leading idol worshippers. They cannot lead Yoruba Muslims, he added that Muslims are the majority in Yoruba land and not the other way around. Amun Iran is an Islamic scholar, public figure, an Islamic group leader located at Iwo Oshu State and has said that they are with the Owo Iwo, the Ilowo of Iwo, and that this man understands them and they work together as one. What Sunday, Igboho, and Ghani Adams are fighting is we're not on the same course with them. The group has said that they are working together to ensure that their people are preserved. The people who are committing these crimes are not only Muslims, and as such, we should not be profiled along. We are here to say that whatever these people decision they are making, we are not on the same page with them. So my people, this is what um, this Islamic scholar has said, that um, they are not working together with the rest of the pack and that the rest of the pack are actually on their own, that they are a voice, they are a people, and um, the other Yoruba leaders who are saying that um, they are sending Fulani headsmen, that is not their thought pattern. That what they are doing, they are working on their own, um, I mean, it's their own, it's their own decision and they are not, not with them. But the, the, the same question I want to ask, and I want to ask it again. When these people, these invaders come and they commit crime and atrocity, do they pick and choose whom to commit this crime to? And if we are fighting a cause, it should not be on the bias of religion, ethnicity, or whatever lines that divides us. I believe it should be for a just cause. Do we want to live as a people? Do we want to live in safety and not fear? Do we want our mothers and our brothers to go to their farmland and have peace, go peacefully? It doesn't matter what time of the ninth day they intend to go into their farm to work on their farmland, that they will return without anybody giving them any hassle or making them scared or afraid. Is that Are we on the same page on that line? If we are not, then we are not headed I mean, in the same direction, and it calls for serious concern that we all need to, together as a people, work together as one. 
If we don't, uh, we're not giving ourselves opportunity to actually live. For us to live is for us to work together as one people, as one entity, and as one voice. Disunity divides people like no other. Disunity tears down people. Disunity does not make a people to stand. So it's not whether you are a Muslim or you are a Christian who is a majority or who is a, a minority. This has constantly been a wall of divide. And that's why you see so much inequality in Nigeria. You travel abroad and you see that they're even much more united than you can anticipate. Much more united and trying to bridge the gap. Why we, people who are of the same race, color, the same, and yet we segregate among ourselves like no tomorrow, like no other. How do we really ensure, how do we really, you know, how are we going to make a headway if we have a set that has a different mindset and is selling another ideology, profiling some people as the ones who wants to cross the line of divide? Listen, Nigerians. This unity destroys any people. You know, a house that is divided against itself can never, can never be complete or truly thrive. Is a house that is united, a house that stands together as one, is a house that is purposeful, intentional, that will actually make a headway. It's not the amount of the money that makes a man successful. What about the ideas? What about the, 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 what about other things? There are other factors that sustains even that that a man have. If those factors are not in place, if those factors are not being considered, what he has can be taken away from him and he'll be back to square one, to a position as though he never had anything. We need to be careful if we are on the same page in fighting against criminality and crime rather than align ourselves to be bullied and pushed away by some minority who intend to perpetrate crime. Nigeria today, the lines that divides us is so unbelievable and we need to get past that. If we must work together as one unit, one people, with one voice, it is high time we begin to take what is important as important. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.